Okay, I'll show you guys how we draw the, the footstool using on shape. The same project that we made in class. Uh, it's made in a couple of parts and then assembled. So, start off on your main on shape page, click create document and we'll call it footstool. I'm going to put two there because I've already drawn one. It should load the workspace and there we go. So we'll start by drawing the top. So down the bottom here where it says part studio one, let's rename that and call it top. All right, we start by drawing using a sketch. So look for the sketch tool, click it. It's asking us what plane do we want to draw this sketch on. So we're just going to draw it on the top plane. So hover your mouse over, you'll see it highlight the correct plane and click. Now to make viewing a bit easier, let's turn off all these planes by, by clicking that little eyeball. That'll clean up our sketch a bit. And we're going to view this front on. So let's, on the view cube up here, we'll click top. So we're looking at it straight on. Uh, you should be able to zoom in and out with your mouse wheel and look for the rectangle tool. It'll be along the top on the toolbars. So the corner rectangle tool is the one you want. If you don't see it, look under the down arrows until you find it. So corner rectangle, click once to start, move your cursor, click again. Now we're going to size that to the sizes that we need. So you're going to look for the dimension tool in the top toolbar. Again, you may have to look under some down arrows. Click the dimension tool. Hover over the long edge, it'll turn orange. When it's orange, click once, move your cursor up and click to place that dimension. And now type in the correct size, which is 325. Press enter. Let's do the same on the short edge. Hover, click once, click again, and it's 140. Press enter. Now that sketch is finished, so we can tick with the green tick where it says sketch one. Now right click on your white space and go isometric and that'll bring us back to a, a three dimensional view. Look for the extrude tool on the toolbar. It's asking you what you want to extrude. So we want to extrude the shape we just drew. So click inside that shape. It should all highlight orange. Then click and we change the depth to 19. Press enter. There's a preview and that extrusion is finished so we can tick. The only thing that's missing uh, is our chamfer around the top. So there is a chamfer tool, it's there. Uh, don't get mistaken by the fillet tool, they look pretty similar. Make sure you choose the chamfer tool. Chamfer. It's asking you what you want to chamfer, and we want to chamfer one, two, three, four edges. And I simply clicked on each edge, uh, and we'll make the distance five. And tick, and that's the top part drawn.